Evening all. Um, I've been watching quite a few videos with the um, five questions from uh, Woody's models to start off the new year, 2021. I uh, normally don't throw in on those things myself, but uh, I thought this one I would. Uh, it's a pretty cool way to start off the year and you can look back at it at the end of the year and see if you made any progress on the questions that you answered. So, um, the first question was where to improve on your builds. So where would you like to improve on your builds? Uh, for me, it's the photo etch. Um, quite a few of the newer models I've bought lately have photo etch or I've bought the photo etch detail sets for, for those models. Um, two that I have on my bench right now. The Ferrari and the Kawasaki, they both have photo etch. Uh, you can see the brakes for the for the Kawasaki here. So I'd really like to get more comfortable with doing photo etch. Um, if you follow my channel, you know I've been building the Bismarck for about a year now, uh, off and on, building it for a buddy at work. And the one thing that's holding me up on that is bending the photo etch railing uh, because it's a it's a one shot deal. You do it if it's not right and you screw it up, then you're pretty much screwed unless you buy another photo etch set. So I would like to get more comfortable with doing uh, photo etch. Second question: uh, What is out of your comfort zone? Uh, well, photo etch, like I just mentioned, but as well, uh, lighting. Um, I have added lights to one or two models. And when I say lights, I mean like about one or two lights in the model. But I would like to get, um, as example here, this is an Arduino test bed. So I want to start doing uh, programming lightings, lighting and stuff that I can put in my model. Of course with this you can, it's all gamut of stuff, not just lights, motors, everything you can do with this, but I do want to get more, this is completely outside of my comfort zone, uh, doing this type of programming so and lighting, so um, I want to try and move forward a bit on that this year as well. Uh, what modeling tool would I like to add to the bench? I would like to get a foam cutter, like a hot wire cutter, um, the table, the, the table type of one. I have a, I have this here, which is a hot wire cutter, but I'd like to have the table for cutting larger pieces, and that's for doing bench, uh, doing uh, bases and building dioramas and stuff. So uh, I'd like to get one of those added to the bench this year. It'd be nice. Um, build in 2021 that I've been putting off. Uh, I guess you could say all of my builds I've been putting off because I've hardly finished anything. Um, one build that I have been putting off, I, I'm not necessarily going to do it in 2021, but I have a um, Cobra Daytona 124th scale. Um, it's a multimedia kit and uh, it's another one of those deals it's not a hard kit to find but it's a very expensive kit and you know I don't want to screw it up so I've been putting it off and putting it off actually building it uh, in actual fact you have to actually it has a tubular chassis that you actually have to build and solder together from uh brass tubing so it's a very involved kit uh, I doubt if I'll get to it in 2021 but that is a kit that I have been wanting to build but have been specifically holding off on building it uh, just because of that reason uh, I mean it has white metal photo etch styrene plastic brass tubing it's a very involved kit so I've been putting that one off for quite a while and the next question, how many kits will you buy in 2021? 
I'd like to buy zero, but that's not going to happen. Already this year, I've probably bought a dozen or more. So I would say by the end of the year, I'll probably have bought probably 30 or 40 kits if I keep going at this rate. Um, I'd like to buy as little as possible, but you know how model kits are. If you see one you like, you have to pick it up when you can or otherwise next time you go to get it you might not be able to get it so so uh, anyways guys that's my answer to those five questions um, so uh, yeah I hope to hear from a few more people with their five answers as well so uh, thanks to Woody for asking those questions and uh, as always Thanks for watching and hope you stay tuned.